Hey, what's going on, everyone? Good morning. <laughs> um, we actually got a room. Didn't really do a big room tour because it's really simple. Like, yeah. So, um, we are after we take little. Look at who decided. Hold up, Nikki. Hold up. Hold up. Hold on, y'all. I don't know if y'all ever tried to vlog and put a leash on a dog at the same time, an excited dog, but it's not easy. So thanks for being patient. But uh, after we take Nikki out, we're going to go ahead and hop in the truck and bobtail. Look at her rushing us. Bobtail to the terminal. Uh, we decided to spend a night at La, uh, La Quinta. Um, and we're going to get them to work on our windshield. Ready? Now, we don't really know what this is going to consist of. We don't know how long we don't know how long it's gonna take. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, she did say that. My bad. I'm gonna learn the hallway, have another nightmare. But um we don't know how long it's gonna take. Um, you know, the guy when when Carla submitted the request for our appointment. Don't try to make me jump rope. When Carla sent the appointment uh, for them to fit us in he said that everything it shouldn't take that long but he hasn't seen the cracks i don't know maybe they have something quick that they do uh maybe i should let her run free come here nikki come here let's let's go come here come here listen to me now go you oh, got his lights on he left his lights on they weren't on last night though i don't think that's the same truck uh, is it? Mm, I don't know. It looked like a different truck. So I don't know, y'all. We got our room again. We're gonna spend another night here in Springfield. Um, again, just relax, enjoy ourselves. The beds are really comfortable. How did you sleep? I slept really good. You did? Yes. yes That's what's yes, up. Yes. Um, we also gotta do laundry, and uh, yeah, we just gonna make a thing out of it. Hopefully, it won't take too long. But uh. Yeah, we'll keep you up posted. Nikki, go, go, Nikki, go. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki is our official stalker. <laughs> this girl do not play. And it ain't no shame on her game. <laughs> she will stalk you. Hey everyone, we're taking this time to say shout out to Emily. She's a Prime Inc. driver and she says she's been driving since June and she's out on the road just trying to live life for a living. Every day is a new adventure. Emily, you drive safe out there. Thank you so much for your love and support and we hope you always strive to live life for a living. All right, so Paula said that the guy, he just told us he about to go on lunch. She didn't come back at what time? 11.45? 11.45, so I'm going to have to, I'll set that thing for 11.30 so we can make sure. All right, so she's going to say her alarm, and then we're going to go ahead and start on our laundry. See, this is why we like this laundry room. The washers are newer. They're more expensive by 25 cents. But, yeah, they're cleaner. They don't have that little mildewy smell. Um, and there's no one in here. Another little secret hiding spot. You gotta find it. <laughs> okay. Let's see if it's spreading anymore. Can't really see it. I don't know if it's. I, it may have spread a little bit more. I don't know though. Do you have to keep these lights on and shit? That noise. 
Yeah. It's that one in there. Oh, yeah, it's going to have to be replaced then. Um, probably about an hour, hour and a half. Okay. Uh, it's up to you if you want to hang out, you can. Um, I'll need the vehicle just to press it out and stuff like that. Get the um, brackets and stuff put back on, but other than that, probably about an hour. Okay. All righty. All right. All right, so if it's gonna take about an hour, then we need to get on out. Like we're gonna be walking for a little while. You wanna put that on the seat on the bed? Yeah. So dark. He shut up, her. All right, ready? Oh, we can get the fabrics off. The sheets? What is? And they said that um, we're going to need, like, what is it called? Um, I can't remember. It's a best. Okay, best pass? Yeah. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you. We're not one sure replace, and we need a replacement best pass. 685-372. Oh, that sticker. 685-372? Yeah, so when we got our when we got our um windshield replaced, we told her we was gonna need some type of pass. It's called a what is it, best pass, best pass. I don't really know what it's, it's called. A best pass. Best pass. Yeah. Yeah, so got that, gotta put it back on the windshield. Good to go. Good to go. Woo. Yes, we're good to go. So you know how I'm excited that we headed to the south, right? Because I'm thinking we finna get away from snow. Yeah. Tell me why it's this humongous patch of snow, rain, all kind of shit that we about to drive into. Right now? Yes, yeah, like down in like the Mississippi, all that area. It's like, we just can't get a break. I mean, we got one, but I'm just saying. You know, the South, they don't really know how to take care of shit when it comes to snow and all that. I'm seeing all these alerts talking about how a lot of it is supposed to turn into ice over there, like in the Carolinas. Is it it's already doing it now. Like in the area we going in? Yes. It's like covering the whole Southeast. So, what's up, y'all? Um... We left Springfield. Let me just catch y'all up. We left Springfield and we took a load up to Illinois. And then we got that load from Illinois. And now we're dropping down to Mississippi. We rarely deliver in the South. Mississippi, all that. We rarely deliver over there. But how convenient it is that we are going to deliver there when there's snow and rain and sleet and all kind of shit going down on there, uh, on down there. And you know, just like I said, they don't they don't be prepared for stuff like that down there, man. So here's another journey. What's going on now, y'all? We are currently in Effingham, Illinois. Yeah, at the rest area, we shut down. Why not? Who cares? One thing I can definitely assure you is this winter time, we have not been making or getting as many miles as we did in, uh, you know, when it wasn't winter time. Not saying it's not possible. I'm just saying we haven't been pushing ourselves like that. We just been, what, running? <laughs> and enjoying each other. We've been en enjoying each other. <laughs> and, um, you know, 
if, if it has extra time on the load, we take it. You know, sometimes you can turn the load in early and get you another load. We haven't been doing all that. Uh, look at this. I'm about to take me some Dayquil. But um, I try to take it as soon as I start sniffling or feeling like something funny. I try to pop me these. Can I drink some of your drink? Uh -huh. you know, yeah. yeah. But um. So, uh, Carla said that, did you, do you remember what time you said that storm was going to shut down? That, uh, I mean, that snow storm was going to pass? It was like seven going into eight. Mm. So, around about now. But it's still storming, like, you raining it really bad. It's running really bad. Y'all don't know if y'all, y'all should, should saw how thick it was. Um, I could drive through it, but if I have extra time, why? You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to do it. I'm going to probably get up at like four o'clock in the morning. And uh, head out and um, get the load on there, but I'm not gonna. Mm -mm. I don't feel. I just don't feel like it. Like I don't feel like driving through all that shit, y'all. And especially like I, for those who are familiar with the South, for those who are not familiar with the South, when it comes to snow, it's not really the fact that people. Well, it is kind of like the fact that people are not used to driving through it, so they don't know what's safe to drive in, what's not safe, you know, when there's ice and when there's not. But it's also the case that we don't have big machines sitting around. I say we because that's where I'm coming from. I live in the South Alabama. So when you have the smallest thing of snow, um, the South, they will shut down everything. And, um, you know, and it's mainly because people don't know they can't drive on it they're crashing into everybody i remember babe i remember that time when uh we had that snow all that snow came down alabama mm -hmm. and um direct tv autumn they shut down but i was hungry so i decided to get out and like try to go to the store and get me some i'm driving in the snow i'm like shit i'm from you know i was born in st louis you know i know about the snow but it's not really that you know so i was out driving in the snow and like this jeep started lose control almost smacked and head on hit me head on because he was driving too fast he just didn't know what he was dealing with and um they didn't have the grounds prepared or nothing so i just don't like dealing with the snow in the south it just don't mix to me so we shutting down we getting up in the morning we're gonna pick it up from there yeah, yeah.